Hi, uh, this is Father Todd, and, uh, and I hope that you are planning on having a great Christmas uh, this year. Uh, re regardless of the fact that this has been one for the history books, uh, the coronavirus certainly has brought us things that we hadn't thought of, and, uh, and it, makes, uh, it makes Christmas a very different kind of place than, uh, than it normally has been for us. So not able to get together with the people we love, uh, oftentimes uh, having to be alone or, or quarantined at least uh, very differently than we, than we ever have been before. That is why I am so glad that, uh, that God has opened the door for us to be able to use technology to be able to, uh, to stay in touch and to be able to worship together, even though physically we aren't going to be able to gather together. I mean, normally we would have about a thousand people coming through the campus at St. Mary's. Uh, we're going to have about a third of that this year and numbers of folks who just feel nervous about getting together in public. And so, um, so thanks be to God, we are open. And, uh, and so we will have services, uh, four services on, uh, on Christmas Eve at 4 o'clock, 6.30, 8.30, and 11 o'clock p.m. for those uh, midnight worshipers on Christmas Eve, as well as one service at 10 o'clock on Christmas morning. Uh, some of those services uh, at this point are, in fact, most of them, I think, are probably maxed out. That is, we're, we already have the, the most people that we can possibly fit uh, safely in, uh, in either Ross Hall or in the church. But I'm so glad that we also have the opportunity to be able to gather together uh, by, by video. So I hope to be able to see you on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning or, or any one or multiple <laughs> services uh, so that we can get together we can worship and and really understand that this time of year uh, is a reminder to us that regardless of the circumstances, regardless of, of what can be really tough times uh, for us, that, uh, that this is a season of hope, that God becomes human flesh and he comes and joins us. And so that's why it's so important for us to be able to come and to, and to worship together. So whether you're coming in person or whether you're joining us digitally, uh, come and, uh, and worship the newborn king. Uh, gather with us and, uh, and praise him. Uh, it'll do your heart good. God bless you and Merry Christmas.